Yeah, hey guys, so yeah, we're back. Um, if we just want to do a swing around, those two buildings in the background over there are G16 and G02, which we showed you just before. Yep. We've walked back down this way, and we're now in front of the Iconic Centre and Gym. Yeah, across that, from the library, that's where we were before as yes, well. Yes, yes, that Gold Coast has, and George is going to kind of tell you a little I bit I don't know very much about this sort of section, because I, I feel like you could guess I'm not a very active person. <laughs> Spend most of my time in front of a computer. <laughs> Here we've got the gym, and we've also got the aquatic centre. Um, we've been lucky enough that someone might talk about it. Oh, here she is. Um, and this is the lovely Sarah, and she said that she'll talk about it and let you guys know a little bit. So, start the gym and the pool. Yeah. yeah. Does yeah. any information you can share with us? Cool. So, we have memberships available that include both of the gyms on campus, the fitness classes, the pool, and the track. Um, we also have Oh yeah. You got here. So it's available to use for anyone in the public. Um, it's cheaper if you're a student here, and you can buy casual visa passes for the pool alone or for the gym. But I can take you through to the gym. Yeah, awesome. Oh. Also, take you guys by the other gym, which is the one under the, yeah. the uni yeah. bar. So, um, this one is more of a functional space, it's got the free weights, but the one downstairs the bar is more of a traditional gym with you can load of equipment and cardio equipment, so they look completely different, but you get access to both. Alright, awesome. Just makes me feel bad that I don't work out because I don't have the time to do I would definitely suggest having that on your phone rather than something else because um, it's easy to charge your phone and it's easy to have your phone with you and if you don't have the thing that has the unlock on it, you, USB. Yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't get into your accounts if you don't have your authentication, yeah. which is new, but we're adapting. Yeah, so that only started this Monday. So. I think you can put it on your laptop, but I might agree with Lockie, I think on your phone is probably best. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, just I think like as long as you're feeling safe with the COVID stuff and everything, as soon as the events are happening, I would suggest going to those. Because you meet lovely people, you have fun. Yep. Can you experience 
isn't just about study. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there are a number of clubs as well. I'm not sure what COVID's done to affect that. Yeah. Um, we can get more information about the clubs and that they usually have the massive open day with all the clubs. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's going ahead, but um, we can swing past the guild and if anyone's in there, we can have a chat to them about that. But yeah, for now, we'll just do the student center. As always, any questions, message us, contact Student Connect. that we showed you in the library. Um, they prefer for you to have a, have a go at printing it out yourself. But again, if there are any concerns, this is where you'll be heading through here. Yeah, just a quick yeah. Student Connect is here. this is what you will do. You will select what your issue is. It's more substantial than that. And then you'll get a ticket and they'll call your ticket to one of the accountants when yeah. they are free. Well, we work on them today. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. If you're an international student, the International Student Advisory will be very important for you. If you have any questions or concerns, definitely check those out. So Obviously, there's a bit of a directory here. Of yes. A whole bunch of services mm -hmm. available to you as a Griffith University student. Yep. Um, so, yeah, if you did want to um, get information about that, you can just Google the Griffith International Student Advisory. They, they used to, before, ha before COVID, they had. Um, just you could drop in if you had questions we'll just have to double check that and if you do want those questions answered we'll find that information for you but for now i'll let georgia take us down to the yeah if you, medical if, you center. if you look down here you've got a basic um example of what's available medical oh, yeah. center careers and employment student disability and accessibility there's lots of help for that whether your disability is depression anxiety based or whether it's wheelchair based whatever it is if you need help disability services yeah. Um, there's also helpful financial support and any counselling and well-being help you need, um, or pastoral care. Yep. Um, so do we think we want to walk down? No, I probably I think, don't I think need we've to know. mainly covered it. If yeah. you head down there and check it out, they'll there's be able to help There's staff down there at a desk, so they'll be able to help you if you've got any concerns. Or obviously um, search online, ask questions. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to be saying that on repeat today because it's true. Um, then I think we might just direct you to where we'll be heading next. Um, building through those trees is G40. Uh, that's the major building for all the health um, degrees. I will just say while we're here actually guys, turn around. Yep. Sorry. In front of the library here, this is where the market days will happen. Yes. 
And yeah, guys, we'll see you back in a couple of minutes. We're just going to head down there towards G40, which is the big building over there. Um, and we'll see, we'll see you soon. Thanks.